Yes. Hi. Hello. Uh, is your name Miss Dot? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And who do you have on your lap? Trooper. Trooper. Could you tell me a little bit about Trooper? Well, Trooper is a four-year-old raccoon who is blind, cannot smell, can't climb, can't feed himself, and he's non-aggressive because of an injury he sustained to his head when he was only eight weeks old. Oh. How'd he get injured? A, a man beat him in the head with a golf ball. <gasps> oh, no. And walked away and let him to bleed to death. But, as a rehabber, I was called to come and get him. And I took him home. And he's been with me ever since. And I call him a rehab in progress. Aww. Because in all that time, he's learned things like to walk again. Yes. Three, took him three months of water therapy every day. He finally walked. Two years of strengthening his muscles and exercise and reprogramming his brain to get him to run again. Good Three years to finally get him to use his tongue to lap water. And he's doing it. Wow. What happened Does he have to the man who abused him? Nothing yeah. happened to the man who abused him. It happened in a state where it's not against the law to do that. What state is that? North Carolina. Ooh. So the man, it's not against the law to do that there. Well, you're in Florida now. How did that happen? Well, I'm in Florida because as a wildlife rehabilitator, I'm a licensed wildlife rehabilitator, I could rehab him, but I have to release him within six months. Oh. I can't release a blind raccoon. His only other choice was to be euthanized. Um, I would have had to hand him over to the state. Um, I had finally decided that I put my foot down and said no more. I was tired of living in a world where the answer to everything is kill it. Yeah, yeah. And I said no. So I did some research and I found states such as Florida that would allow me to keep him legally with a license. So I sold everything I had Aww. within six weeks and I drove here to Florida with him. And I now have licenses from the state um, to use him for educational purposes and from the U.S. government for educational purposes so I can transport him from state to state to venue to venue. Wow. So, Marvelous. we have written a book about his rehab and an educational program for children about not only respecting and protecting wildlife, but all life. Mm -hmm. And that's what our, our purpose is here, and that is his mission. So you go to groups and schools? We go to, we do visit schools, uh, civic clubs, libraries, churches, yes, is. Um, any place that calls nursing homes who would like to hear his story, and we share it with people. Could we see him? Does he walk? Yes, he walks. We do three months of water therapy every day to finally get him to stand without falling. But he now walks and runs. And I can put him down. Here we go. And now he can walk. <laughs> Call him, Kyle. Why would he want to walk away from you? I know. Well, he likes being in my lap, and he loves being held, and he loves being kissed and mothered. So he will actually come over to me at home and touch me, and I pick him up and hold him in my arms, and he, like a baby, he falls back and goes to sleep. He's very trusting. Can I take his picture? You may take his picture, yes. Thank you for asking. Can he, hear he can hear. Oh, okay. He didn't hear for the first two months uh, because of his, the brain swelling. And this when the brain started yeah. to heal, oh. took the pressure off that nerve and his hearing returns. Okay. But yeah. nothing else has returned. What does he um, eat? We've just slowly worked on things. Now, we do these wonderful little exercises. I had to do his exercises to build him up <laughs> uh, and build his muscles because he could not grip. He couldn't grip my fingers. And it took me almost two years to get him to finally grip onto my fingers. And so he knows that this is his exercise. <laughs> right? Aww. Yeah. And he loves it. He will walk right up. <laughs> yeah. And then I always, when he's up there, I always go, look at me, I'm king of the world. Aww. Yes. He says, I'm king of the world. And he doesn't scratch? I file his nails with an actual file um, right, about sure. every two or three days. He gets a bath every two to three days. Oh, he looks it. Uh, yeah. We gotta stop. Yeah, He's a little bit of a pretty, pretty good happy life. Guy. Yeah. Yeah. What? Stop. Oh, okay. We're getting ready to stop. There we go. Mm -hmm. oh.
thank you so much, Miss Dot. I hope we see you some more on YouTube, and best of luck with your projects. It's not luck, it's love. Yeah. Best of love Thanks. with all your projects. Thank luck. you for what you do. It's because he's loved. Yes.